Welcome. Salutations and greetings. And vice versa, too. Indeed. We're Katie Lee and Will Ryan. She's the one, I'm the other. And now, literally several people know us for Tell You Later. Later. And don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Hey. Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Welcome to yet another session. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Yep. Because it's been a while. Right. I'm not playing Eugene today. I'm playing other characters. I know. I'm playing two other characters, too. So I've got oh, to boy. think about how I want to talk. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? You want to go in? I we thought can't I was playing a German, but they I'm playing a Greek get... instead. You're playing a what? A, a Greek. I thought you said a Greece inspector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A Greek Greece inspector. A Greece inspector. Who's also in the play Greece. Oh my goodness. Or a musical if you prefer. So because of the pandemonium, uh -huh. we have to wait for somebody to come and get us, right? Uh, I think you could go in and announce yourself. Uh, well, that's see not what, what I was say. told. That's not Let's what I was see. told. Let's see. Studio talent. This is your entrance. You know what? At your call time, enter through this door. Your booth is a few feet down the hall on the right. I think I have to get a mask. Okay. Look That's here. a mandatory indoors. <laughs> here comes our plane of thought. Masks are mandatory indoors. Do not enter the premises. If you have fever, difficulty breathing, cough, new loss of taste, smell, taste slash smell or are under isolation orders thank you and here's yet another sign stop <laughs> oh this is studio coming in. studio c talent and studio d talent oh. studio a talent that sounds like us yeah, i think we're studio a after all these years i have no idea what the numbers Enter are the booth what no we can't be studio A because we gotta go through this door. Hmm. Everybody has to go through this door. What's it? Why do they have those arrow? Oh, pu see, it says at your call time, enter the booth directly through the handicap access. We can't enter directly. But let's go check out the entrance. Just call, anyway. call Nathan. It says call Nathan at that phone number. I don't want to call Nathan. All right. I told Gabby I was here, and she said she would tell Nathan. Hmm. Ah, see. Holy cow, another entrance I never knew about. Yeah. About that. And I've look, been coming to the these studio. These people have a beautiful view of our studio. That's a former parking lot. Yeah. How about that? Very, uh... This very, is the glamorous uh, world of voice and recording. <laughs> right. If you want to get less glamorous, go on the, I wonder the front. I studio is... Van accessible. Check it out. So Van Johnson? It's locked. You were wearing red socks? You can park here. <laughs> and this. That shirt makes your eyes look so blue. Really? Yeah, let me take a vertical shot of horizontal okay. shot of you. Katie's going to pr uh, oh, prove her contention. Let me see those eyes. <laughs> Maybe it's the mask. Uh, <laughs> instead of the shirt. Oh, it could be. You have a blue mask. Yeah. And what happens if you wear a red mask? Hmm. I don't know. But uh, this building, yes. I don't know what used to be here, where the, all the studios are, but Magnolia Sound was here. And that's where we did a lot of Teddy Ruxpins 
and a lot of things. Hmm. And Magnolia I mean, a lot of things. Here in this building? On the other part that's not being used anymore. Magnolia Sound is still there. What other but part? But it hasn't been used in... Well, here. What yeah. is another part I'll of show this you. building? This is like a mystery. This is Ooh. like a a, a Will and Katie mystery. Cam? You want to hold? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm I'm holding Whoops. my coffee cup with my arm. All right. So here we are. So this over here. Magnolia Here's the Sound. entrance. Here's the sign because that the says. The sign used to say Devonshire Studios in the Studio Oh, oh, Devonshire Studios. I'm sorry, that's what I meant. Devonshire mm -hmm. Studios. Studio entrance is there, and. The Wait. cutoff, see the cutoff is right here. You know what I but think? But this is where the studio is, was. Do you think was. we did uh, the Music Man at Devonshire Studios? Music Man? I I don't remember working on it. Yes, remember the, we, we, sh hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> remember we already showed a clip of Benny's Biggest Battle, the Music Machine with Tony, oh, the music machine. what's his, uh, Tony Salerno. Salerno. Yeah. No relation to Fat Tony. Oh, it's raining. I this assume. is a very unique day in Los Angeles because we had rain for yes. the first time in a year. And we're in a happened. drought and we had rain last night, so it's mm -hmm. so great. Which look is at, great enough to these. water the garden. Drops. Yeah. Proof. Proof that, that it's raining. Water? It's great. We're very happy so, here. Anyway, and the owner of Devonshire used to live back there. And look. Somewhere back there. MB Tunes. Who do you think's... I License don't know. Plate is that? I don't know what MB means. MB. Do you know? Could be Milton Bradley. <laughs> Milton Bradley? Could Milton be Burl. MB like MB. Milton Burl tunes. M. He had his own comic tunes. book, you know. MB tunes. Maybe it means MB tunes. MB tunes. MB. You should roll your car window up since it's raining. Can I just point that out? Well, to I'm going to go back to the car. You are? Yeah. MB tunes or like. They be tunes, M B M, that like them, MB. them be tunes. Yeah, Milton Burl and Milton Bradley. And clearly, they can afford a BMW, so they must be successful. Motion pictures. No, motion uh, pictures. <laughs> no, you know, um, M. Uh, it's a merger with big pens. My. Might hmm. be tunes. <laughs> Might. Maybe. 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 Tunes. Maybe. 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 Mm, but maybe it's just mm, look at no Teslas. Mm, but two. Th that There's dates a Prius. This. There's a Prius. Yeah, that doesn't count. I mean, that's like ten years ago. Here's a hybrid. That doesn't count. That's ten years ago. What do you mean? That's a well, Lexus. Well, no. I mean, in other words, ten years from now, when people see this, they'll um, think we're in the old days. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, where are all the Teslas? Where have all the <laughs> Teslas gone? So, uh, halfway between here and Las Vegas. Yes. Um, Here, let me. In Baker, California. Yes. Which has the world's largest thermometer. It also has. Thank goodness. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> which you can see for miles, fortunately. <laughs> because you want to know, you know if it's you're hot. Crawling in the desert, <laughs> and you're thinking, man, you're this is hot. Parched, looking for something to oh, drink. Oh, an hallucination! The world's largest thermometer. <laughs> About seven miles away. I thought it was hot. Now oh. I know it is. Oh, wait a minute. It's not as hot as I thought. I'm getting up and <laughs> walking over there, Whoa. going to the Mad Greek. That's or, uh, right. What else do they have there? They have, unfortunately, have a lot of fast food places. At Baker. Because the buses stop there. But they also have uh, a Tesla supercharger station that's been there for... They must have it because what? it's between here. That's where everybody yeah. gets gas between here and Las Vegas. I remember the first time I saw it, there were no Teslas there. But yeah, so we'd rather see your And then face. the next time I saw it, there were three Teslas there. Mm -hmm. the next time I saw it, there were uh, six or seven. Yesterday, there was there a big long there line? Were 20, no, no line. There were twenty-four. How many stations there are there? Forty. Forty. So once Very they hit wise. forty. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So where do they get all their electricity from? The sun. Really. Why you does don't anybody know. get there? Well, uh, a lot of the Tesla stations they say electricity comes have from solar fossil panels. fuels too. Um, Hopefully, it's the sun. No. Uh, anyway, it was it was great to see. Yes. A and I'm just gonna do uh, a little inspiring. creative. Sure. No, Whoa. you stay put, oh, okay. and I go around. Woo. <laughs> it's Look very cinematic. New senior apartments. 
What does oh. that mean? Well, once you turn 65, you have okay. to, it's only, you have to be a new senior to move in. <laughs> oh, a new it senior. Means. It's only for people. <laughs> 65 to 65 in a month. <laughs> then you're out. Right. You have to have a big turnover. Because a birthday, turnover. a birthday lasts at least a month. You know that, right? Uh, but Milton Berle, yes. I would uh, go to different events. Hold on, I'm switching hands here. Yes. With him or where he was or whatever. And it was, I knew when his birthday was. So that was celebrated. And then a week later, you go to an event. And Milton Berle's in the audience, and he stands up for a bow, and it's his birthday, and people go wild, <laughs> you know? And like another, a week later, it's someplace else. And we have in the audience tonight with us, uh, Milton Berle, Mr. Television. Uh, he gets up and for a bow, and then, yeah. and it's his birthday. People a are month crazy. Of free dinners. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's do it. And, uh, and because people like celebrating. And then uh, Fayard Nicholas. Uh, the same thing would happen with him wherever he would go, of the Nicholas Brothers, the great, great Well, Nicholas see, brothers. you gotta milk it for all it's worth. Yeah. Unlike yeah. you, see, you gotta let people know it's your birthday so you can oh, get free no. french fries. <laughs> I don't need any more french fries. <laughs> Maybe I like free steak popcorn. fries. popcorn. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. We had some garlic fries the other night, and they really? were really good. Really? So I have a question about your Los Angeles shirt. Hold this for me, would sure. you please? I'm gonna smooth this around so people can see both of us. Wait, where's the button that flips the camera? Oh, heck. I don't know. I don't know how to flip the camera. Well, Probably I guess I'll have to shoot. So, you have a, a few shirts that say Los Angeles on them. Is that because in case you get lost, I have people will know where to return you? No, it's because <laughs> they're very inexpensive. Oh. Uh, they're sold to tourists. If you're near Hollywood and Vine, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that used to be the center of Hollywood, Hollywood and Vine, because all the radio networks were there. Uh, on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. You know? Yes. And actually, there was no radio station at the, uh, no radio network at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. But, but block the reporters away, would go there. At Hollywood and Sunset was, uh, was it NBC or ABC? And CBS, you know, Columbia Square is down on Sunset. It's still there, but they just recently renovated it. I'm hoping that the, the room where they used to do Jack Benny, the Jack Benny program Here, is still there. Let's go in front of where it says studio entrance. That's a okay. more attractive background. Even more attractive? Oh, so what I wanted to point out, yes, Katie, yes, is you have never been in this building, probably, from this point oh. all the way over to there. What do you think it is? Storage? That's, that's the old Devonshire sound. Well, somebody It has beautiful... Um, Brickwork and stuff in it, and a booth and everything. Maybe we could get a tour. I think it's tour. still there. Maybe we could they see let, if they'll let they, us they, in. Maybe they they let me back in once about 20 years ago, so I could see it. Really? Wow, it's still here. It's well, a beautiful 1950s design. Maybe they'll let us design. tell you later. Maybe they will. Let's see. We'll have to ask. Uh, so, one of the guys who owns the place is uh, working. In, he was working in uh, the secret room in the back there. Oh, he's here this morning. Boy, Mr. Is, Gary? I should Yeah, the thinner one. Yeah. Who? I thought Gary Falcone owns it, doesn't he? I thought it was two guys. Oh, really? I thought it was yeah. just Gary. Who, by the way, did you know Gary was in Kim, uh, was in one of Kimmy Robertson's weddings? He was, yeah, a best man. You're kidding. Uh -uh. Wow. Yeah, they've known each other a long time. Wow. Oh, I think I heard a hummingbird just swim over, swim, fly yeah. over my head. It's raining, so it must be swimming. What number was he doing? <laughs> hey, hold the camera still. Okay. Uh, are you in a hurry? <laughs> Look, Will can move fast. <laughs> I know, because we never hey, do that on the show. There's a fly on me. I don't want it to bite me. Sure, here, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, it, it okay, left. Okay, let's stop. I oh, wait. What? Is it on Is it me again? Here? What are you, like, studying uh, former Vice President Pence? What? Look, what? He was a fly magnet. Oh. Oh. Uh, remember it landed on his hair during a debate? Oh, wow. Well. And that's all anybody could see? Focus on. That's... <laughs> Whoa, oh, well. whoa. Earthquake. I put, I put a little... Katie, root... Earthquake, Katie. Earthquake. No, that's not even funny. Oh, okay. I keep thinking there's earthquakes going on, but it's really the train going by my house at night, or trucks. That's how... Oh, yeah, that train of thought. Yeah. I like when the plane of thought came by earlier. Yeah. Wow. 
I know, you were talking. I don't know if anybody's going to hear you. Mm. Thank you for taking my backside. It's very important. Well, why don't we you, The see, back of your hair is very tidy. I would call I Nathan, but you're using my phone to film. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I guess I guess we better sign off. I now. think he's supposed. He might even have tried to call. It's okay, so we'll come back. I was doing a Walter Winchell sound alike uh, audition the other day, and uh, and uh, I'm doing it, and uh, and it's it's. I think it's a transcription of something that was actually said. You know, so, it talked about this um, a divorce that was happening uh, from uh, and and. The, the woman seeking the divorce is her last name is Statler, and she was from the Statler Hilton chain or something. And uh, so, and the last line was something about she's awaiting the divorce in um, Reno, Nevada. <laughs> so, just for the fun, of, I'm just sitting there by myself doing this audition, and I just threw in, so all you gigolos, hurry up! <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> you know, and then I went on to the next speech and everything and then when I went to edit it I, I heard that and it made me laugh because I well that's it. the stuff you gotta leave in and, and I did these are I auditioning did. To I did because I thought if I'm the guy listening to these auditions yeah. of all these people pretending to be Walter Winchell you know uh, it's gonna be boring and and that will wake them up. <laughs> but that's exactly it. So our discussion is about auditioning because I'm helping cast something. And you might do something exactly according to the specs, but everybody is. And so if you don't throw your personality or a little sense of humor in there, it doesn't stand out. And it mm -hmm. should be memorable. Do you have a question? Yes. Uh, Are you raising So that's a good little tip. But I want to show the camera down here. Oh, the raindrop. See, see that? Rain Proof. Drops. People. Proof that it rains in and, California. And proof that they make us stand outside the studio <laughs> while we're waiting to go in to record because no I don't know we, what they think is going to happen. No wonder we always sound so waterlogged. Right? Uh, now we have to duck and Or drought-ridden, whatever that means. Let's get under the awning here. Now we're both together. Huh? This is the awning of the age cool. of Aquarius. That's, uh, Does anybody know what that was even referring to? Oh, you can't sing that song. Oh, oh, luckily you hit some bad notes. Oh, good. So, yeah. Luckily, but, but once again, I hit some it, bad now notes. Now I'm finally symmetrical with the shirt here. Oh. But uh, takes a lot. Of I wasn't effort. even going to wear this shirt to the session anyway. But Were you going to wear be gonna, shirtless? I was going to wear a, um, a Hawaiian shirt. Well, what but, changed but it's your so, mind? It's so wet and muggy. That I, I thought it was going to be boiling Because it isn't today. wet and muggy in Hawaii. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying <laughs> is this it's making... not... See, I was I was out in the desert the mm -hmm. last couple of days, and it was super hot out there, of all things. Who would have who would have dreamed it would have been that way? But, but, um, but here, back in L.A., there's a nice little breeze. L.A. has very nice weather, and I woke up being very thankful that we're here. I think I'm hearing some activity on the other side of the door. Here, let me see. Perhaps see they're going to let us in. What? Can we just walk in? Let's just yeah, do it. Yeah, of course, I did. You did? Put your mask on. Oh. I'll hold that. Oh, heck. Here, you hold the camera. Well, i got to put my mask on. All right. Put your mask on. You saw the sign. I saw the sign. And maybe he'll let us into... Uh, no Devonshire sound, the haunted Maybe. Let's see what happens. I hope I don't run out of room on my camera. Okay, I'm putting my mask on. Let's go say hi. Is he in the room? Alright. Is he in the room? Is he in the room? Is he in the room? Oh, his name's John, right? Is it John? Ask him. Let's, let's go down the hall. You should okay. announce your entrance and your presence. Look at more signs. Show them what's on the wall. Show them what's on the wall. Show, show them what's on the wall. Here's a rare autographed thing. Hello. Hi. There's Nathan. There's Nathan Hubler. Hi, Nathan. Mary wearing a moose male hat. Indeed, I am at Salami Studios right now. I'm looking at Katie Lee right now. It's not just Katie Lee on a screen. She's live in person. And there's Bo Ryan there, too. Is that a moose male shirt, too? 
Here, I'll put you on speaker. Who are we talking to? This Eric? is John Campbell. Oh, hi, John Campbell. This wow. is the guy who does our music. We're, oh, and well, you're live we're, on video. Yeah, you're live on video because we're, we're shooting a behind the scenes for Tell You Later. Ooh. Look what happened to our waiting room. A cameo appearance from John Campbell. Yeah. There you are. Here, show the name. Yeah. Hold the picture up. Right. See? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so right. why don't you hum, want to hum a few bars of the Odyssey theme? <laughs> And that's how he composes it every time I'm, I'm on my phone. Is that how is that how you come up with the like the themes? Do you do like that with your voice first and then play it on the piano or something? To enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 2015. Are those Cleos? What are those? Uh, no, down there. Oh. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. Absolutely. All right. I love hot air.